to say? Abraz on fleek, the fuck? Look, she always trying to get on top of the bed. What you want? Chanel, come here. I got some snacks. <laughs> I don't got nothing, I'm sorry, buddy. We don't let her on the bed because she likes to pee on her bed. Isn't that right? Uh oh. <laughs> Go get it. Go, yeah, jump. Jump. Go jump. You scared to jump? Oh, you missed. Relax. Go. Don't say you look bad. Do not do that today. You say that every time. <laughs> I'm about to down a good note. Look, just fine. Alright, guys, I got a new car. I'm saying in my old one, as you can see. Got a little Fiat. Yep. Filming. You like it? This is our third car. <laughs> so, we're on our way to the grocery store because we're going to cook for you guys. I mean, technically, not cook for you guys, but we're going to teach you. Well, Cayman is gonna teach you. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna, whoa. Okay, so today we just woke up. Um, so sorry if we sound a little like a little tired, but a little wonky. Today we're gonna cook for you guys because I like to cook a lot. I like to cook for her. I like to, to try different things with her, and she does her own thing with other stuff. We all have we have like different traits in the house that we're good at, and then I'm good at cooking and like the electronics and stuff like that, I like the handyman stuff. She's good at like interior decorating, cleaning. Um, we have to go to the store though because we forgot a couple of things, right? It's really, really easy and I think any, like literally anybody can do it. Even if, you, even if you don't know how to cook, this is like one of the easiest things you can make and like instead of having to go to Olive Garden or go to a place to buy, you can just make it at home for a lot cheaper. You can make a lot more for like the same price that mm -hmm. you're gonna pay. Um, so we'll tell you guys how much it costs, what you need to get, how you gotta make it, and Carla's gonna be my sous chef today. All right, so we are at the store. You can't see Carla because I'm really tall and she's really short. There she is. What, you want some cocoa? Are you yeah. The sweet bread that my mom gave me. Mexican sweet bread. This. Get it then. But the real one is the abuelita one, but I can't find it. So what butter should we get, sir? I said get unsalted butter. Make sure it's unsalted because if you get salted butter, like it, it comes out really salty, obviously. So, mm -hmm. I say get unsalted sweet cream butter. Like you can get like the generic brand. It doesn't have to be like a name brand butter. We're at Vons, B B T W. Yeah, we're at Vons. If you know, uh, here it's called Vons. Maybe where you're from is called something else. Where I'm from, it's called Giant. <laughs> where I'm from is called My Girl Francis. What? You ever accept my compliments? I said thank you, babe. Should we get some more of these little sleep drinks? No, we don't need that. Next step, you need heavy whipping cream. This is what you want to get. Um, this is the, the core of your sauce. Your cream sauce is the core. Yep. So you need this. This one? Bam. This one, like, you get a smaller one. If you want to make a smaller batch, you can get, like, a little half one. There's um, a little half one right here. But I like to have a lot of sauce. And I might, you know, need more or less, so I'll get the big one. Yep. We're going to get some shrimp. This is the shrimp we're looking at right now. I mean, this one looks like it's already pre-cooked, but I don't think it really matters today. This one's seven bucks. I could dig it. You get the raw ones, but right now we just, you know, I'm not a like, professional chef, so I'm getting what I want to get right now. So uh -huh. if I don't like it, then don't fucking eat it. <laughs> so we're on to the cheese. All right, so for the cheese, you really can get like, you can get the powdered one. You don't have to get this one, but this one will taste really good. So get this one. We end up getting this one, and it's all like the brand of the store. So you don't have to get name brand anything. This but is the everyday garlic bread and foil. Three bucks. Win it. Smells really good. What kind of flowers do you want today? I want some roses. But can I get some of that flower though? Yeah, everyday, baby. All right, so the last step you need is you need to get some pasta. Rotini. What is white fiber? I don't really know. 
Get the one that's just regular. I don't see it. We're gonna make the whole thing with this type of brand so they can just get. So just get this. Uh huh. Nine nine cents. Nine nine cents. Nine nine cents. Three bucks. You know what I three want? Three bucks. Three bucks. Four bucks. Seven bucks. Coffee. Eight bucks. So we are in our kitchen. You guys have probably seen it in our other videos, and we are about to start with this amazing pasta. It's honestly better than like Olive Garden. It's better than Cheesecake Factory. It's better than all of them combined because it's made by us, and it's made with love. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, uh, obviously, we bought that shrimp. And you can get chicken. You can eat sausage. You can use whatever you want. So you got shrimp. Um, you got a box of pasta. Um, we're using rotini today. You got your parmesan cheese. You can honestly use one, but I like to have extra just in case. Also heavy whipping cream. This is the like core of your sauce, so you're gonna always need this. Some minced garlic. You can use regular garlic, you can smash it, whatever. Some butter, unsalted butter. You don't need this much, I'll show you how much you need. And then we have our garlic bread. And this is all you need to really make the whole dish, mm -hmm. besides like seasonings and stuff like that. First step you wanna do, grab one of your like bigger pans like this, because this is where you make your pasta in. Hopefully a lot of our subscribers know how to cook. Because <laughs> I don't. I know the basics, like breakfast food and like chicken and rice. And this is this is this is like I mean this is easy to make too. Beginners like it's really good but it's really simple at the same time. So I think y'all like y'all like it. Turn on. I say make sure you salt your water. It gives the pasta like a, a good flavor. Number one on our professional chef, so don't be looking at me like, you're not supposed to do that, KB. I don't, I don't, I'm not a real chef, so shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, you put a little salt in here. Don't be scared, but don't put too much because this will be super salty. You don't want that. Let that boil. The next step we want to do is get started on your sauce. And I'm making sure she's in it too because she needs to learn how to do this as well. I don't know how so, to do this. We got our water boiling back there. And then we're gonna start on the sauce. So like the, the sauce is a very easy thing to do. I feel like I'm on one of those cooking shows where they're like cooking stuff. Would y'all watch us if we had a cooking show? This is all she wants to eat is hot cheese, but don't make no food. Probably like half a stick of butter. So this is starting the sauce. Turn your heat to like medium low. Half of this stick of butter and throw it in there. That was quite smooth. No, that's like me, baby. Throw it in there. Let it go, don't be scared, it's gonna start melting. Yep. Um, you take your minced garlic. Don't be scared to put too much or too little, like it, it will all balance out. So I usually put some on top like that. It looks like a lot, but it, trust me, just wait. Put your garlic in there, I say about a tablespoon, and then let that melt down. Um, this is the sauce that you wanna continuously like stir. So like once this butter melts, like, you'll see what I'm talking about, you wanna continuously like stir this around. It smells already really good. You should use like a wooden spatula, but we don't have it. We don't have a wooden spatula, so today I'm just gonna use whatever we got. You can use whatever y'all got in the house. But you want something you could just like mix around the sauce with. Um, let that do its thing. The key to uh, cooking food though, like you gotta be a good multitasker. So if you're not good at multitasking, I say don't even get in the kitchen or ask somebody to help you. But I know for me, like you gotta watch the water while it's going. You gotta watch the butter while it's melting. You gotta watch the bread while it's in the oven. You gotta watch all types of things because they don't, like if they, you don't watch them, they're gonna burn it. Next step, I'm gonna let Carla do. All right, so next step. So we put this in there. I'm gonna tell you. Oh, okay. You got Cheetos right here on your lid. <laughs> you wanna take that heavy whipping cream and take it over there to the pot. Okay, so this is what like the butter will start looking like. About half of your heavy whipping cream into the butter. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This, honestly, you can't mess up. Like with cooking, you can't really mess anything up. Um, is it about half? Yeah. Uh, make sure you watch that sauce. You gotta make sure, like, let it give it a little time. Let the like the butter and the cream kind of mix together. They're not gonna mix well, but like, wait for it to go a little bit. And yeah, then after that, you add the cheese, and it's pretty simple. A few moments later. I wanna smell it. Is it smells real fresh. Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. so. You wanna eat one? Yeah. Ooh. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here is the sauce. Don't get lost in the sauce. This shit is hella good. So here is your sauce doing its thing. My water still isn't boiled up yet, so you guys can see. She's over here eating all the cheese. It's hella good. Now that your sauce is bubbling, don't freak out. Uh, mix it around a little bit. Turn it back down to like medium low. And this is when you want to start adding your cheese. Here's your cheese. You want to do this slow. Don't do it all at one time. The sauce ain't gonna be the right type of sauce. You mess up the sauce, you mess up the Is whole thing. Is the texture gonna be off, right? Yeah, you gotta make it smooth. Like, it's like a smooth, slow, stroking. All right, that's too much. So pour, put a little bit in there. You know what I'm saying? Put a little bit in there. Don't do too much. All right, mix that around. 
You want to let that melt first before you add more. Oh shit. I just built some. That first level of cheese I put in there is all melted now, like it's smooth. Make sure it's smooth and you can add more. Eventually your sauce will get really thick, so I'll keep adding some more. Boom. Oh my god, I just missed. Boom. The water's boiling. So now our water is boiling. So you wanna make sure you put your pasta in the water. Like I, I got said. that. Get up in there. Just dump the whole thing in there. Slowly, cause you don't want- Go ahead, dump it in there. Don't tell me what to do. All right, and you, what you wanna do is put a little bit of olive oil in there. All right, and you can mix that around. So the key to good pasta is making sure your pasta isn't too overcooked or too undercooked. You want it to be al dente. Can you say al dente? Uh, al dente, which means basically like it's not too firm, it's not too soft, it's like right at that perfect level. So you want to get your pasta in here, it's going to probably take about 10 minutes. Um, with this, I just, I, I taste it as I go. As it's boiling, I'll taste it and taste it and see if it's good or not. But the olive oil helps your pasta noodles not to stick together. Alright, so as you can see, our sauce is really thin. It, it obviously needs a lot of cheese. This is where you start adding more and more cheese. Um, I usually add salt and pepper. All right, so as we're doing this sauce, you gotta make sure like it's thin, so you just add more and more cheese, and you keep, you know, whipping and whipping and whipping it. I also add like pepper, add a little bit of pepper, add a little bit of, a little bit of salt, like you gotta just do the salt to taste, so I'll add the salt at the end. Um, so as you're making this sauce, kind of taste it with a little spoon, and like add seasonings as you go. So this is like where you kind of put your own flavor to it. I put a bunch of random shit, y'all gonna see what I put in it. I like it how this was. So y'all can make it like me or y'all can put whatever you want. So I'm gonna add some more cheese. Honestly, this needs a lot more, so I'm gonna just Dump go in. All. We have another one, so. I wouldn't recommend doing this because it melts weird, but you know, I'm a professional now. Um, just make sure you mix this really well because it will clump together. And that's the only thing you gotta kind of worry about. See right now it's getting kind of like a, a smoother consistency. It's not like perfect, but. It's smooth. You kind of can see the cheese in there melting. You see that? Mm-hmm. This is good. You want the cheese to really start melting and get into that like consistency that you want. Like add a little bit of pepper. Don't be scared with the pepper either. So add a little bit of pepper. I always add like a little bit of garlic salt. So just like, a little bit. Now what you want to do is give your sauce a taste. And this is how you like determine where it's at. I can taste that it's clearly too thin. Uh, make sure you also are watching your pasta. Um, so right now I'm going to add more cheese. Boom. <laughs> I get so scared when she's in the kitchen. So while this is melting down, you kind of want to do a check on your pasta because it's been about like five minutes. Right now our sauce looks pretty good. I'm going to give her a taste. Might be a little hot. It's good. Hey, that shit bomb. You can kind of put it on like the back burner and like have it in the back. You want to prepare this bread. Oops. And this bread's really easy to do. And you see all of that goodness in there. This is like garlic butter. Um, you just open it up like this and then you put it in the oven and you put it under the broiler. Mm -hmm. And I'll, you do that at the end because it takes like three minutes. We got the hot shields right here. I'm about to take some. Yep. Every time I want to cook for him, he'll be like, well, he just takes over. I'm just like, all right, pasta's done. I'm gonna take it, go out to your drainer. Don't be scared, it's gonna steam up in your face. Um, I usually like to rinse it off. This is kind of cool, it's not there from cooking. So you just rinse it off. Now you have wonderful and beautiful noodles. Just like, You didn't say that loud enough. You have wonderful and beautiful noodles just like my wife. Take your noodles, you can put them back in the pan. For now. Um, so these shrimp are already cooked. I always like to add a little like flavor to it. Pepper. A bit of red, crushed red pepper flakes. We already need some more already. A little bit of garlic salt. And then that's all you really need to do for now. Because honestly the, the sauce from the pasta will kind of take over. A little bit of oil in here. You got the pasta. You got the sauce. And you got the shrimp. Put your little shrimpies in here. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? Yeah. Okay, so with your shrimp, you want to go for like three, four minutes. Let them go for a little bit longer. These shrimps are look good. I know, right? I always add a little bit of parsley because it makes it look nice. Ooh! Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
This makes anything look nice. It does. <laughs> so add a little bit of parsley, make it look authentic. Yup. Yup. If I add a little bit of lemon, I will put a little bit of lemon in here. Oh, I don't have any. You want to put your shrimp into the sauce. Put them into the sauce so they can absorb all that saucy flavor goodness. All right, here we go. Whoa. And this is when you mix it around. So this is the beginning. Oh, that's nice. At this point, you can add whatever you want. All right, so the next and final step is you want to put your bread in under the broiler. Top rack, and this you got to make sure you really watch it so it doesn't burn. So that goes in there. And we're almost done. Okay, the bread is out. It um, is. You guys can see. So we got bread, pasta. So we are done. And here is the final product. I love to add parsley flakes. It makes it look really, really good. So I'm gonna do that now. Add a little bit of that to it. You got your bread over here. Thank you. Drinks. Where's your response? I'm so chewing. It's good. Oh my god, you don't even like my pasta. Babe, this is the thing that I always tell you to make. But she didn't respond. It's hella good. Guys, if you wanna try it, check out Katie's tutorial on <laughs> It's our tutorial. All right, guys, well, I hope you guys liked this cooking with Carlin and KB. Mostly him, but that's his thing. Hope you guys liked it. It's really good. You should try it out. And if you do make this at home, you should definitely tag us in your picture. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>